Okay guys, hello. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to do the Y gaps. It's my first tutorial, so if you have some tips afterwards, uh, please let me know. Uh, so as you all may know, there are separate uh, ways you can Y gap. So one of the ones, you go three square that. You go back in triangles, you can end up like this. Uh, you don't have to play these two triangles. But, uh, if you don't want to get soft sided from jackhammering, uh, it is recommended. And the next way to do it, it's of course one more square out. Four squares out, move the first three, go back with a half moon. Again, you end up with the same um, situation. You can either choose to play these uh, to reduce the risk of people jackhammering or not, or you can let them be. It's a uh, own choice. Uh, to show you the difference between these three, these are both uh, squares. This is the white variant, so four squares out is the white one. And then for the, um, again, one where you got three ones out, three squares out, remove the first two. It's a little bit tighter, so uh, yeah. Okay, so for the next part of the video, of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to uh, wide gap a standard 5-5. Five a 5-5 five. A five five is a base you can probably uh, see being used on uh, like vanilla service or Storia maybe. And uh, it's a quite common rebuild base for people who don't feel like farming a whole new main base. Build that before. You go back a half moon. Uh, there's nothing going there. It's just for uh, protection against um, jackhammering. Well, I personally white gap uh, these to fill this in. Later, if you have enough mats, you can always uh, put the triangle here, put another wall there to uh, have some extra walls on the front. For these corners, uh, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it is, of course, with um, yeah, the widest one, as, as you can see here, if you do it like this, you can't place that square there. The reason why I place square here is nice to have, as you see you don't need it, this side you would, but on this side you're gonna end up with a, a nice looking tuning floor, I like so, with a, a door there. If you mimic it on this side, it's gonna look like a nice room for the door box division here. That's pretty much a, a simple way to do a 5x5. Five five. Okay, for the next way of Y gapping, I'm just gonna show you uh, how I personally Y gap a standard multi PC footprint of the circle base. So we're gonna start out with going out four foundations, and then the first three. We build back a half moon. Yeah, it's gonna make you end up with two of these. Um, at this point, you can build two squares like so, place the triangles there. And the next part of this is uh, we're gonna have to obviously build this up. This is how you get it centered like this. Gonna build, um, yeah, four out again. Gonna go back a half moon, square, triangle. And put a nice wide gap like so. Uh, and I'll show you how it will look when you connect it back to the base with uh, something like a streaming floor. I choose to do it as one close, or I would advise you to do it as like such. You have a nice uh, multiple ways of uh, covering both your base uh, wall itself so it's not reaching. And so you can peek out nicely without having to um, fuck your position too much. So, as I said, we're gonna connect this back to the actual base. And just remove uh, things. Before we're able to do that, we're gonna have to uh, choose how we do it. So, obviously, as you can tell, you can do it here in the middle. So, what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna want to make sure this is centered. So the half moon you made before, you're gonna keep that. You're gonna build a half wall or one half. You can either choose to do it like that. You can also just hey, you get this on input to the infiltration. Uh, how you do this? You tell this won't connect. You can't place it here. Uh, the trick to do it is you place a half wall on the inside with a frame or a triangle square or whatever. And there you can place this. This connects nicely. Uh, what this does, 
is make sure that uh, you're shooting floor so flag apart doesn't decay if the PC is on flank this one. But another nice thing you can do this way is uh, make sure that uh, yeah, your shooting floor isn't going to decay. So do that, just build out. Pleasure to see in here, make it disconnectable or whatever, doesn't really matter. But now, this whole part, this you see, both upkeeps this part of your shooting floor and this part, this uh, quadrant of your base. And now you're stuck with the corners, of course, they are not connected yet. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to connect the corners uh, to the same PC there, so you don't have to place 12 PCs, but instead you can. Home to your six external DCs uh, that make for remote DC, plus your one core DC, adding it to seven total. So, as we saw before, we uh, start the build up on this side. If you were to do it on the other side, of course, you would need to build up the other side. Place a frame there, square frame here, frame your frame there. Uh, the reason why you place this one is to gain enough skill to place this triangle. It's gonna end up nicely in the middle. You wanna build a half moon out from here, place a wall, half wall here. Uh, what we just did um, makes it so that this part of the base, which in turn is connected to this part of the base, which in turn is connected to this DC, makes it so this part doesn't decay and um, has the same DC priv as this DC right here. This is how your shooting floor is going to look like. If you um, do it a quite simple way, you just mimic the foundations uh, above where you have the yeah, foundation already placed. You're gonna always want to place your um, floor frames or floor uh, pieces on the place where the stability adds up to the most. Um, you can see that the stability is quite high. But if I were to place like such, it's 27, it's all 27. Then if you place it back here, you see the middle one is 36, the side one is 38. But because you have multiple stability points, which in turn adds up to a higher stability value. For the next part, we have a single TC circle base. Uh, so, you have your full triangle circle in the middle. And this uh, footprint, you have peaks, and then this can be uh, substituted in different ways. You can add layer peaks, you can use a honeycomb, whatever. Um, anyways, on the outside, we're gonna start building out four squares. It's the usual way um, I personally wide gap. We're gonna end up like this. Uh, these corners, uh, I usually what I do, well, it's grab a triangle, centers it like this. Uh, the reason why I like doing it like such is because you can make an airlock like this, or you can actually separate your uh, shoe floor in different compartments without having a yeah a big gap or uh, multiple holes that you need to block off. Uh, here you're gonna want to mimic your footprint. Uh, shape so it adds up nicely so you see this part is straight if you add the square to this it adds up but here is a triangle it would fit a triangle it means that here would fit a square triangle triangle again a square so you can see you mimicked it nicely uh, the reason why this is important is because otherwise you're gonna end up with a unplaceable uh, parts of your shooting floor so, Quite simple way, um, you can make this the way you like, but this way you're gonna end up with a shoe floor like this. Uh, you're not gonna wanna connect this one back to the main base, you could, I'll show you that it's possible. Just do it the same way as we just did on the multi seat circle, connects nicely. But the reason why you don't wanna do it is then because then. Everything will be centered around the core TC. Uh, I'll tell you why that is bad. The reason why you multi TC in the first place, or um, multi TC or shooting floor in this uh, particular base, is so. Uh, let's say you. I'm gonna set up the console for you. As I was saying, so let's say um, you're getting rated. A raider decides um, we found the TC. It's locked, we should blow it up so we can get maybe get building proof or at least screw the other group over. But you see right now, you still have building proof, but that's not from the core TC. There's no TC in this entire footprint. But these wide gaps, these um, shooting floor frames and uh, floors make it so that the building proof extends six uh, squares from here. So, one, 
pretty much two, three, four. So it extends over the middle part. Um, this in turn creates a nice thing where if three of these CCs were missing, you would still have building grip in the middle and everywhere around the base, practically speaking. Meaning this is a strong way to um, make sure you don't get grief very much. <laughs> 